myself to you guys, so I will. Um, I have a cat. Thank you for clapping. Um, oh, thank you. Um, I have a cat. His name is Bert Backer Cat. Um, there's a couple of people looking at the, show the audience. This is actually a funny pun. I'll explain that. Uh, it's a funny pun on the uh, 60s, 60s composer Bert Backerack, but instead of the ack, I've replaced that with cat. Um, and there's actually a really funny story behind this, and that is that I'm incredibly lonely. <laughs> so, I thought, you know what I'm talking about, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Good to touch someone. <laughs> <laughs> Say that for later. Um, I do have some jokes for you guys tonight, so um, I, I don't want to disappoint you guys. I've got um, actually some Christmas cracker jokes. Christmas cracker jokes. So would you like to hear some of those? Yeah. Yes, fantastic. Okay, so I'll, I'll, a bit of backstory to this. Um, I uh, I am from New Zealand. I'm not just having a stroke and talking strange. Um, uh, I am from New Zealand, and uh, this year I get to go back home for Christmas. And we have a very fun uh, tradition in our family, and that is that we make our own homemade Christmas crackers. Has anyone ever done this before? Yeah. yeah? Oh, yes, great, fantastic. Okay, so what I've decided to do, I've been put in charge of that this year. What I've decided to do is, though, I've decided to mix it up a little bit, mix it up. You know the jokes you get in Christmas crackers, obviously? Um, I've decided to replace all the punchlines to those jokes with things that I've been meaning to get off my chest to my family. <laughs> the entire year now. Um, so um, I'll, I'll start with this, and if you know the answers, please do yell them out, because I love that audience interaction, so that's good. Um, this first one is, what is Santa's favourite colour? What is Santa's favourite colour? Anyone? Red? Ooh, good guess. Wrong. Um, uh, what I've actually got here is, um, we all know you lost your job, Daniel. <laughs> Tense on there. Um, this next one's more of a classic joke set up. Knock, knock. Yeah. Michael. Michael. Sorry, to sorry, Tony. Tony. Sorry, Tony. Sorry. Craig, sorry, Craig. Sorry, Craig, Craig, Craig. Craig. Sorry, this is just me trying to figure out my auntie's boyfriend's name is. Um, <laughs> See, Tony reacts to the most. It's like, ah, Tony, I knew that. Um, this next one doesn't have anything to do with Christmas, but it's still fun. And why did the spider go to the ball? Why? I don't, oh, I don't know. It doesn't really make sense, does it? It's sort of like how Candace is here, even though she's not a family relative, and it's a family-only Christmas, and I wasn't allowed to invite my boyfriend two years ago, even though because we're just not married, and she hasn't paid me back for the $2,000 I invested in a spray tanning business two years ago. That was just his ad lib. Um, <laughs> she's a bitch. Um, here, um, uh, what is the difference between a snowman and a snowwoman? Oh, that is, that is good, that's not what I got here. Um, what I got is that snowwomen get paid substantially less than snowmen um, in most industries. So, that's uh, a political one there. I ran out of ideas towards the end, I just started doing um, things about myself. This is my top five greatest fears. Rose's top five greatest fears. Number one, death. Fan favorite. Number two, breaking the rules. Number three, water slides. <laughs> Number four, breaking the rules on water slides. <laughs> Number five, dying as a result <laughs> of breaking the rules on water slides. I'm terrified of breaking the rules. Um, I've only broken the rules my, once in my entire life, and that was once I, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I watched to watch a, a DVD on an oil rig. Um, <laughs> DVD on, do you remember DVDs? Do you remember DVDs? It was like Netflix, but harder. Remember that? <laughs> Do you remember the warning you get on a DVD? It'd be like, WARNING! You cannot watch this DVD in schools, in prisons, on an oil rig. Number three! Number three on the list, number four on the list was nightclubs. Who the fuck is watching a DVD in a nightclub? You never see a drunk girl in a nightclub go up to the DJ and be like, hey! 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 Can you play the King's speech? Hey! It's my friend's birthday! Rachel, Rachel's fine! It's my, I've got it in my bag! Anyway, I'll leave you on there. Thank you very much. <laughs>